What's up guys, it's Jarrett with Bluegrass State RC. Uh, sharing something very exciting with you today. Uh, just got this top RC Odyssey in. This is gonna be my next turbine jet. Um, as you can see this winter, got a few projects going on. Uh, the Hangar 9 MB339, got two of those to assemble this winter. So uh, if you have any interest in those, I might do some videos as well as far as the build process goes along. Um, those are for some friends. This is actually gonna be my personal jet. So. Uh, today we're just going to unbox it, uh, do a quick look at it, make sure everything's good. It just came in today, has not been open whatsoever. So uh, first things first, we're going to get into the top of this. There's been some questions and concerns about the quality of the top RC jets. And kind of as I unbox it today and go along with you, definitely going to be taking a look at some of the areas of concern. Everything appears to be encapsulated in these foam formers that they made. So rather than risk potentially dropping something out uh, during the deconstruction of this, I think I'm probably going to deconstruct the box and kind of go from there. Uh, I just don't feel like pulling it out all of one is going to be my best option because I don't really have a handle on everything. So. Bear with me here and I'll get that handled. So after deconstructing the box, this is kind of how everything fits in there very nicely. They've got those foam formers in there that kind of keeps everything in place during the shipping process. So as far as packaging, um, I, don't, I don't see how it could get much better. Everything seems to be well protected, well constructed here as far as the packaging goes. All right guys, so I've got the right wing out of the packaging here. Um, as you can see, I went with the black, yellow, and white eagle scheme. The bottom of this scheme I really like, uh, very visible. Um, I did remove the servo covers here, as you can see, to kind of get a peek in here and see how these glue joints look. I saw on some forum posts that the uh, they had some QC issues with where the uh, glue joint is from the rib to the wing skin. And so far, everything I'm seeing looks pretty much like that uh, nothing alarming I do like around the gear area uh, everything is nicely glued and we've got a little strip of carbon here for some reinforcement on that wing skin uh, so far everything looks good on this side I'm gonna flip it over to the opposite side the finish is pretty nice uh, nice clean lines the top there's where that white really pops out um, all the lines that I'm seeing look pretty good, matching up pretty well. So the paint job so far is looking very good. Yeah, see that matches up pretty good. Um, right off hand, I don't see any twists in any of the control surfaces. Uh, of course, once I get that lined up a little bit better on the airframe, I will really be able to tell. Um, but everything so far on the right wing appears to be pretty much like it should be. Alrighty, so now we've got the vertical and horizontal stabilizers out. Um, all the control surfaces are live hinged except for the rudder. It looks like we've got some pin style hinges, uh, three of them to be exact. Um, again, finish on the stabilizers is just as good at matching as the wings and the fuselage now i won't know if this matches all together until i get it together but initially everything appears to be pretty lined up in the neutral position uh, of course these hinges will go in and out a little bit so that might line up just a hair bit better as i go along very crisp lines i'm actually pretty impressed with the paint job. All right, so moving on to the nose section of the fuselage. Again, pretty good finish. Uh, no issues with the paint that I can see right offhand. I would say actually an excellent finish on this nose. Uh, lines very crisp. Everything looks good. Uh, I'm gonna rotate it, give a good look at the belly. A uh, little bit of overspray near those fasteners, but nothing crazy. Yeah, I'll, I definitely like the the scheme on this. Um, I've removed the canopy here as you can tell and I have removed uh, the cockpit and everything. Up there you can see the mechanism for the gear door on the front which is a, a nice touch. Uh, seen a lot of people cutting this tray in half uh, for easier removal and 
installation. That might be one route that I go, but I do appreciate how big of a tray this has. Uh, okay guys, on to the main fuselage. Uh, first things first, finish. Pretty much on par with the wings and everything else. I did remove the included fiberglass fuel tanks. We'll get to them here in a moment. Uh, love the intake duct fiberglass, very nice. Looks to be nicely crafted. Uh, been taking a look inside on the formers. Uh, most of the glue joints appear to be sufficient. Pipe looks good. Um, there's one section I'm going to try to zoom in on it for you guys. It may or may not work out. Uh, it's probably wanting to focus on something different. Let me see if I can get way in there. There we go. So as you can see there, uh, it's about maybe three quarter to one inch uh, where the, the glue joint's not perfect on that form. Um, if that's the only thing that I find, I'm still going to be pretty happy because I can remove that pipe and get in there and take care of that no problemo. A little air epoxy to take care of that. Um, like I said, the finish is pretty much on par with everything else. Nice crisp lines. Hoping everything lines up okay. Um, on the inside, I'm seeing everything appears to be glued in place pretty well. No major areas of concern. This latch is a little bit off center. Um, won't know until I go together if that's going to be a problem or not. Uh, one thing I did note towards the rear here, and I saw some complaints about this before, we do have on that vertical stabilizer uh, the main clamp and then the clamp forward of that. Uh, so two clamps on the vertical stab. Uh, I saw some guys saying, you know, keep an eye out on those clamps. They can work loose over time. So just like you would do. Okay, going on with the fuel tanks here. So it does come with two tanks. They kind of stack on top of one another. Um, I don't know how I feel about them. I will test them to see how they hold. Um, it's two-piece fiberglass with the joint. It appears to be fiberglass taped and recoated in adhesive. There's a couple spots through here. That bulge, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I don't know if that's going to be an issue, but when I see white spots like this, if there was a leak under here, it could very well travel through uh, any of these areas that don't have adhesive on it. Um, not super impressed with the tanks. I've seen mixed reviews about the tanks. Some people say they're holding up great. Others say they leak. Uh, All right, guys, I had no option but to stick this thing together. Excuse the mess. I just wanted to dry fit everything, see how the scheme's really going to work out with everything attached. As you can see, uh, most of the paint lines pretty much on par. No real complaints there. Uh, overall, the paint job, I would rate pretty fantastic, um, especially for the price that this kit comes in at. Um, overall quality, um, not really seeing any blaring issues yet. Um, had that one section of former in the rear, that about an inch long maybe, uh, that could use a little attention, a little love. Um, I'll really get deep into it on the wings as much as possible and see, but just at a, a quick inspection, I'm seeing no issues found. And if I do find some issues, I don't really care to fix them because this thing is absolutely beautiful. I love the scheme on this plane. Um, with it being black, the only thing I don't like is fingerprints are going to be an issue. But aside from that, uh, when the control surfaces are neutral, the paint scheme lines up pretty good. Not seeing any weird like warped control surfaces. Uh, nothing with the wings really seem to be out of sort. Uh, got one area, I think it's on the right wing, that the skin is just a hair bit raised on, but I don't think it's going to amount to anything as far as flight characteristics. And I'll really get a good look on the inside of it and make sure that we don't have uh, a rib that's not glued down properly or anything like that but yeah all right guys as with anything in the hobby mileage may vary but i can tell you just from doing a quick inspection and everything i don't see any blaring issues with this airframe um everything seems to be like it should be um, i know in the past there were some qc issues i took a gamble i mean for the airframe that you're getting for the money uh, it was kind of hard not to but uh, I really love the scheme. The paint works great. Uh, I don't see any major issues whatsoever. Had that one former towards the rear that had a little bit of a, a glue.
glue joint separation. It's a quick fix. I don't care to do a little modeling. I'll go through really in depth and inspect everything I can to the best of my ability, obviously during the build process. Uh, but right offhand, no major issues, nothing that can't be resolved uh, very easily. So I'm really impressed for, for the money, uh, what you get out of this airframe. Uh, like I said, mileage may vary. You might get one in the scheme be all jacked up, but that's not the case here. I mean, the, the scheme is lining up perfectly. Uh, when all the control surfaces are neutral, everything's lining up. Uh, where the wings join the fuse, everything looks great. 